The following program will contain adult language and mature subject matter and does not necessarily reflect the views and opinions of Reality Radio 101, its advertisers and sponsors, or its listening audience. Listener discretion is strongly advised. Welcome to the Dell Morgano Show right here on Reality Radio 101. To contact Dell Live right now, dial 905-725-1907. Toll free in North America, 1-866-905-7325. Worldwide, 1-866-656-5477. Email Dell Reality Radio 101 at yahoo.com. Your host of the Del Morgado Show, Mr. Del Morgado. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to another episode of the Del Morgado Show. Give it up, ladies and gentlemen, for the man behind the Iron Curtain. <laughs> why is it? Isn't it glass? I don't know, man. It changes every week. Hey, I was why? trying to come up with something different. Well, hold on. You're Gary Lamar. Welcome, Gary Thank Lamar. You. <laughs> how, how, why did you look so weird when we first went on the air? You went like... It was shocked that we started at like 9 o'clock right on the dot. You usually takes oh, like, okay. you usually take like 10 minutes to get it going. <laughs> I thought something else was wrong or something. No, no, no. Actually, the funny part was when the music kicked in, like right before you did the, the final intro. Yeah. And then it just like, we both... Our eyes just kind of lit up, like kind of like, oh, oh. Here, here we go. <laughs> My eyes lit up? <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. A little bit. How you doing? It's tiny. Good. How are you? How are you enjoying the cold? It's fucking cold out it's there. It's miserable, <laughs> isn't it? Isn't it's it? a freaking disaster out there, man. Yeah. I couldn't believe it. Yeah. I mean, it's like, oh, man. It's like uh, you get out there for like five seconds, your hands are already frozen. My nose hairs are frozen. And I tell you, I didn't realize how many nose hairs I had. Until I got outside right. today. <laughs> That's right, man. And they freeze up. I could barely breathe. <laughs> I was like, holy shit, man. That's brutal out there, man. How are you coping with the cold? You doing all right? I stay inside and uh, masturbate. <laughs> nice. Speaking of masturbation. <laughs> Were we? I don't know. I figured might as well segue from there. <laughs> uh, we got, I uh, um, have a little sound clip this week. Yeah. You ready for this? Wait, wait, what is it? Wait, let me guess. Oh, is this right. a masturbation sound it's, clip? It's a pretty naughty. Okay, hold on. Sound wait, clip, my yeah. my business partner. Hey, your business here. partner just walked in. <laughs> so hold on. Let me let me uh, get get yeah, that all. Yeah, he's got to hear this. Yeah, this hold on awesome. a second. Hold on. So talk about anything else. Oh uh, well, well, what am I going to talk about? I don't this? know what he's doing. This man. is my main focal point. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I uh, wanted to get a couple of um, crazy sound effects. Uh, some uh, orgasm sound effects, obviously. Uh, there's a ton of them out there, man. You just have to type in orgasm MP3 and you'll get a bunch. So I got like a uh, ton of them. Uh, there's one that actually I found from an old radio show. Okay, go ahead. Wait, I don't know wait. if I can find that one now, but I okay, do have... Okay, play what you got. I got this one here. This, okay. is, this sounds pretty good. Let me hear. All right, here we go. Oh. Here we go. Oh. Oh. Yeah, baby. Oh. Triple X radio. Oh. 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 Is that like? Is I don't that, know. I don't know what's going on. It's got to be eating her out or something. All right. <laughs> Very good. That was hot. There goes our family <laughs> listeners. Okay. Yeah. Right. So, like so you got that it. from some porn flick? No, obviously. no. I typed in MP3 orgasm sound effects, and that's what I got. That was so fake. That was bad. It yeah. was fake, man. That was okay. Really what else you bad. got? Hold on. I got a few other ones here. I'm just got to look on the. Uh, Female orgasm uncensored. That's what this one's called. AF. Yeah. Oh, this is oh, the radio show. Hi. Hi. 
This is funny. Whose show is this? I have no idea. Wow, eh? <laughs> hey. Hi. <laughs> I want to hear how wet I am. Uh, yeah. Hold on. This is crazy. Oh. I don't believe it, man. I could do that. <laughs> <laughs> wow! <laughs> I wish someone would call in and do this. Wait, eh? explain what you're doing. I mean, in between moans. <laughs> oh, no. Want me to keep going? <laughs> what the hell, Your face, man? dude. It's like... <laughs> You know, anybody that can go... That's hilarious. Oh, that's you know, true, I mean, but I mean, yeah. I would love to have somebody call in one night and be like all horned up because they're listening to... Jen had that happen. We had Did, orgasms. Yeah, but those are like fake orgasms. How do you know? Oh, good point. You don't know, man. Point. You don't know. You do You never know. know. Yes. How uh, When did she? How many times did she do that? Three, she well, on? she did it on one show, and there was like yeah. three chicks that called in. Oh, I remember when... Oh, my uh, right ear, I got tinnitus. <laughs> I just got a thing my right ear. It's driving me insane. <laughs> Must have been that sugar I just ate. <laughs> nice. Well, right? Gigi, uh, when she called in the one time, yeah. she did that little uh, fake orgasm for yeah. me. It was pretty hot. Yeah. So it's like, yeah, I was just, I don't know. She had the hots like, for you, you know. Did she? Yeah, she did. Oh, man. Oh, my God. I missed her birthday party. Yeah. That was, yeah, that man. Was a couple in the end of December, ago, man. Wasn't it? Yeah. yeah. Did you go? No. No, it was in New York. <laughs> yeah, you were off. You were yeah. gone. <laughs> All right. I got a little um, information here that I uh, found out. Uh, you, you. I'm sure you've heard Let about some. Could I interrupt you? I love you doing always that. I always me, do. What else is Save there? your thought. <laughs> yes. I just want a quick answer. Okay. Do you honestly feel that we went to the moon? Oh, you're gonna go there? No, just you? say yes or no. Don't no, get into. I don't, you don't? I don't believe it. No. Okay. Either does the guy behind me. Really? Yeah. All right. Let's get him on the air. All right. Hold on. <laughs> come on, the air? Come on right, the he's air. coming on the all air. Right, let's right. get him on the air. Let's all right, ladies and gentlemen, Mr. D <laughs> is coming on. This D, is Mr. come on D. over, bro. Sit down, D. Bring your nah, head. I'm a conspiracy theorist. Awesome. I, I don't think uh, we... Get get over here, bro. Let's do it, man. Even past our atmosphere. You want really? in there? Yeah, right, let's do it, man. Let's do it. Get in there. Take come on in. Head. Come on in. Let's go in there. We're, we're going to fuck right, things up, man. This is impromptu radio. Let's do it up. So, Gary, give us a little history. Give us a little history. He's we went to the moon. I know no, that's no, no, he's fact. your business partner. Yeah, he's right? a business. He's yeah. my business partner. We're both there multimillionaires. We Come on in, man. Come on in. You're both multimillionaires. <laughs> multimillionaires. And uh, we, we yeah. invest in so, things. So you consider 100 bucks each? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Wait, well, let me get Have Mr. Seat, D on there. Yeah, let's, okay, let's get on. a live, live check here going on there. Let's do it up, man. Because I love conspiracy theories. You check, believe check, it? check. There we go. Mr. D, you there? Could you hear okay? Yeah, I'm, I'm all right. Awesome. All right. Welcome, D, to the show. <laughs> Thanks for having me. <laughs> Absolutely, bro. All right, so you don't believe in this moon landing no, I don't believe either. anything. Awesome. All right, tell me. I, tell I me. always think outside the box. I don't think nice. we went to the moon. There's yeah. too much radiation. and. Yeah, oh, yeah. come on, man. See, no, Gary believes. He's a believer. Much. You know what? Right? He's a believer. Would you do me a too favor much. and text your... penetrate <laughs> through the... <laughs> what, you okay? Yeah, what okay. are you saying? Okay, uh, I was going to say, text your uh, your wife and tell her you're on the air right now. <laughs> oh, no. oh, yeah, oh, tell her. She's man. busy. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Well, she's after what we working. just played, I don't think yeah. she's going to hear that stuff. All right. Well, I don't believe that that actually yeah. happened because there's so many um, pictures and whatnot, proof that it didn't happen. It was you on know, a stage set. They set I that up in a big know. stage set. They they had photos that yeah. looked like they were uh, superimposed and, yeah, yeah. and manipulated in so oh, yeah. many ways that... See, you know, Gary, they had cameras attached it. to their helmets and their uh, chests. Come on, man. Yeah, I know we man. went to the moon. No way, And, and yeah. no pictures way. were just framed so perfectly. Yeah. Well, did you see that photo? Did you see the photo with the astronaut and then the moon and his the reflection? <laughs> of the actual No, visor? I didn't see that one. But <laughs> I, I was like, well, there's one. a bit of a fuck up. <laughs> yeah. I did see one where he took a photo of yeah. half was in the sun, half was in the shade. Yeah. Yet the part in the shade was crystal clear, nice and lit up. It was all lit yes. up, dude. Yeah. I'm telling like you, it was we done <laughs> on the studio floor. <laughs> Listen, we went. Okay. Oh yeah. No, what, I don't what, believe what, it. What What's your proof, Gary? What makes I don't want to get. We that's not this show, man. Why I just, not? We just. I just thought it Mr. Z was here. <laughs> you had a thought you were going to say, and I said, yeah. "Hold that thought." Yeah. Right? But and then, then I, I brought thinking, him on the air. <laughs> right, Mr. D was here. Way to go, D. And 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 the bottom line is. We were we had a dinner uh, engagement tonight, yes. Mr. D and I. Okay. And uh, he, we were talking. I don't know how the hell we got on the subject. On the, on the moon. Oh, because he's a conspiracy theorist. Okay. So what other conspiracy? Oh, theories everything, have you man. Got? He would what say you, you don't have a penis. <laughs> no. I don't. <laughs> no, I. How'd you I just, know, bro? <laughs> I think what the uh, the world is doing is they're deflecting and making us look to the left. Right. Meanwhile, there are there's doing stuff something. going. Over There's there. stuff going yeah, on yeah, in the yeah, right. Yeah. Amen. Do you believe and in aliens? Aliens. I do. Oh, I, come I, on, man. I do. See? 
Gary doesn't I, believe there in are this stuff. Ex- now, aliens. See, Dean's got to be on my show more we often. Could be, <laughs> we could be the form of aliens right. to a different race. Absolutely. So I believe yeah. in there is life forms. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can't say aliens because we, yeah. we're aliens we're to aliens these We're aliens to life other forms. species, absolutely. So yeah. I believe there is life on other planets. Yeah. What I don't believe is why are we spending so much time and, and money yeah. in looking at... To outer space. Right, right. Right? And Gary said that we're looking for maybe a cure on a different planet. Yeah. yeah. Well, they're looking May- to go to Mars, right? Okay, like, but. That's what they're planning on now. We have so much more to offer here on yeah, Earth. Exactly. Okay, we have, you know, the we have more resources. issues yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. here to worry about right. than going to Mars. Yeah. Why spend $10 million or more to go to Mars? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Meanwhile, we could. Come up with alternative yeah. like a uh, cure uses for, that uh, never for cars. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, why not explore our own oceans? Yeah. Hey, Dell. By Go the way, I, I know you don't know this, but yeah. you're looking at one of your bosses as well. Oh, he's one of my bosses. <laughs> yes. <laughs> That's why I yeah. want him on my show again. <laughs> no, because he's he's you know he's one of the silent partners of the awesome, radio station, man. right? So, so, like, whenever the shows are on, do you actually sit there and like check out. Yeah, all he sometimes says he's, I do at home. Do I listen. Yeah, he yeah, co- he writes me says get the, get Margato off. Get Margato off the air. <laughs> yeah, he's not. You Thanks, Dan. Yet I put no. him on like no problem. <laughs> so so you know so you got. I believe in the I believe in the conspiracy theories. Oh, 100%. that's bullshit. Of course. Man. Did you there's hear? Okay, gotta be, there's there's to gotta be. There's gotta be. Well, reasons why we do the things we do. Yeah, but, I right, mean, no. hold on, the, the, dude. The space—it's huge. Right? It's too big. There's, the yeah, final frontier. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> it's way too big to believe that there's nothing else out there. Come on, Gary. No, there's no. God I didn't material. say that. I and do you believe say? that. You believe I in... honestly believe we would not be the only race or what have you or worldwide. Or, yeah, yeah. I didn't say that. Okay. I I do believe we went to the moon. Yeah. And I don't want to get into that. This isn't a NASA <laughs> program. Could you hear? Okay. <laughs> this is the Del Margado okay? show. Want to go up? A little, okay. little higher. Right, yeah. Talk. Tell me when you're good. Talk to me, Mister yeah, D. Yeah, I'm okay. There Keep we go. going. <laughs> yeah, good there. Good right there. Yeah, okay. Yeah, That's yeah. okay because your time's so, up. No, I'm kidding. So, <laughs> see, so I, I gotta just, go. I gotta go. No, no, you don't uh, gotta uh, go. I gotta, yet. I gotta Wait. over Wait. hour drive. <laughs> uh, it doesn't matter. Listen, listen. Yeah, here's the thing. Where about you no. live? You live in Oakville, right? Oakville, yeah. You gotta be really nervous right now because you got two bosses looking at you. I ain't nervous. Yeah, man. Because when the boss, your time's on the line. You gotta be out of. You're crazy. No, man. Work and I got the bosses right there. I'm joking with them. Yeah, not us. We don't. We don't joke. Those We're very serious guys. people here at <laughs> uh-huh. Reality Radio. Right. So, all right. High so quality I, programming. Yeah. So, <laughs> so the conspiracy theory. <laughs> yes. Forget the moon. He doesn't believe that. I don't believe in the moon okay. either. He I doesn't really believe. Um, what else? What was the other else? thing? Not, well, I kind of agree with you with the 9-11 thing. Oh, I think that's 9-11, bullshit, yeah. I, I, I truly believe that it was uh, America doing something yeah. to yeah. themselves because... You know, and there was it was like a sympathy or not a no, sympathy, but they was, wanted to start a war. The for buildings, the building, the two, the twin towers, and a couple buildings in the surrounding area yeah. were owned by this one gentleman. I forget his name. Silverman. Right, right. Silverman, and yeah. his lease was up. Right, and so they wanted so, to do something to. You know they they have to find a reason. Unfortunately, the yeah, U.S. Yeah, yeah. has to find a reason. But to, if that to was start the case, a war, exactly. But if that right. was the case, why so many casualties? That's the part that's bullshit. You know, you know what? what I'm saying? A it's war like, has. To, you know what? I hate to yeah, say this, but war, damage, yeah. war yeah. is a form of population control. Yes. Okay. I, Same I as disease agree with you on that one. Yeah, and, yeah. And, and 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 viruses. And, yeah. and that's why there's no there's no potential cure for cancer. Exactly. Or AIDS. Exactly. They. Well, oh no, the, they got it. They have. That's it. my belief. Yeah. I believe well, that they got it. They're man-made. Yeah. Right. But if you got the right person, yeah, right? You if you're connected in the right way, guess what? I don't what? believe that. Secure. You don't believe that? Because there's too many physicians yeah. and doctors and people that work in the pharmaceutical industry and or cancer research right. that people in their family die of cancer. You'd think they would cure those people at least because yeah, they know the real... Yeah, but every time they release... I don't believe it. But every time they release a cure for cancer, oh, it's nonsense. It's bullshit. You know, no, like they listen, try to there's a the hundred and something forms of cancer. Right. We all know the basic premise of not dying of cancer. Number yeah, yeah. one, let's just be honest right, about let's it. Let's be honest. Is, is okay, the, the, the very first edition. thing, okay, <laughs> yeah. is is uh, prevention. Right. Meaning how you eat your lifestyle. We know that. Yeah, we yeah, know yeah. there's things, toxins that give you cancer. Right. The second thing is early detection. Okay. If you do get cancer, it hasn't metastasized. It's not in the lymph nodes, this yeah, and yeah. that. If you get or it in the early stages, early, you can it's cure. very, yeah. very curable. Absolutely. And yes. lastly, lastly, yeah. okay, we, we know that um, 
if you have cancer throughout your body and it's detected much, much later, mm -hmm. they can't bombard your body with chemicals or radiation. No, if not. it already took half of your organs, it's eaten away at That's it. That's true. That's so you true. can't be cured. So yeah. prevention is the first thing. What we eat, what we breathe, what right, we smoke, right. what we drink. Yeah. Number two, if you do have some form of cancer... Mm -hmm. And it's early detected enough where it hasn't spread, metastasized mm -hmm. yes, to yes. another organ or what have you. Right, right, right. It's very, very curable, most cancers. Most. The worst type of yeah. cancer anyone can get that mm -hmm. has a 0% cure rate just about yeah. is pancreatic cancer. Pancreatic. Because nobody has symptoms in pancreatic cancer until it's in a stage 4. Really? There's never 1 or 2 or 3. Oh, it's so always a no stage detection. 4. Can't even it tell spreads to the it. liver. It's in wow. the lymph nodes. But most cancers can be cured. Mm-hmm. But it has to be detected early enough. Yeah, but I think they found a cure for that many, many years ago. I don't. You don't? Because I, I would like also think, you talk too. about the pharmaceutical companies, well, yeah. put yourself on the other p end of it. Well, if they, they had a cure for money. cancer, they'd make even more money. How? You know, by selling the cancer drugs that would cure you. Well, once you're cured, There's you a don't million have people a, a day in the world yeah. diagnosed with cancer. That's what and I'm saying. And cancer drugs are a protocol. It's not a one-time thing. Right, right. It's tons of treatments, yeah, yeah. different things. So if they had the guy with yeah, the golden... Yeah, they got to keep buying the freaking medication. If they I got that, you. they'd make even more money because what good is it to sell drugs yeah. that they that are treating cancer now and people are passing away? Yeah, but I heard that there's one line in particular that they say there's no money in the cure. No, there's money in the not medicine. for cancer. There would be in the cure. So it would be in the medicine. It would be in the cure for that particular circumstance. There are drugs yeah. like uh, we take statins for, um, you know, when they keep you on for high uh, cholesterol and stuff right, like right, that. Right, right. That's a money-making gold mine. They want to yeah, put you on that. Right. But they would have nothing. Think about it. Nothing <laughs> to lose. Nothing like to lose. Think about it. By giving yeah. a cure for cancer. Nothing to lose. Everything to gain. More money. Because most likely, yeah. even when they got those drugs, yeah, yeah. most people, two out of four people, three out of five people will get some type of cancer in their life. That's, That's true. millions of people a month around the world. Okay. And selling those protocols... Right. Where you have to have six weeks of that They're not going to make that much weeks. money off of those. They That's would, the because no those drugs, way. yes, they, they would. Way, they would keep dude. those same patients for the rest of the lives Exactly. They would keep them going pill. forever. But it w if it doesn't make them die, isn't yeah. that worth it? Of course, but they're still making their yeah. money There's, on the back but, end. But they're on a pill for yeah, the rest of Yeah, they're on their, their pill forever. Just like for you know high cholesterol, saying? high blood pressure. Yeah. Okay. That's my belief. You know what? But that would be a cure. That's a cure. A slow no, cure. It is a cure. Very, very but slow But if there cure. was a cure for high blood pressure. Yeah. There is. One pill. I'm, I'm on it. Okay. Are you on it? But you're on a pill for the rest of your life. I am. But right. there's no cure for that because right. No, right. there's no cure for it. Okay. So wouldn't you rather have a cancer? Uh, uh, if you put a pill. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hold on. I got to get the phone. <laughs> maybe. Hey, yes. Maybe it's our accountant calling. It could be. Eh? Okay. Maybe it's my wife. <laughs> so what are you going to say? What are you going to say? I'm late. What are you going to no, say? No, it's just. Because I agree with what you're talking about. You know, this is like, this is the first time the show's gone like. Now. Yeah, but <laughs> you're talking about the pill, the medication, and how there's like, um, oh, geez, even I lost my train of thought. Gary confused both of sorry, us. Sorry, uh, they hung up. <laughs> oh. All right. They got scared. Yeah. <laughs> they don't no, but, but about think about it. I, I just you... think that you, they'll make more money mm. keeping the general population on a pill. Yes. Then for the long term. Right, right, but right. But if it's cancer then, pill, that would be a cure. Yeah, but again, I'm sorry to say, uh, you know, and I know a lot of people that have it. had cancer mm -hmm. yeah. and survived, and some people in my immediate family have died from cancer. Yeah, right. right. Yeah, yeah. And I, I truly believe can uh, diseases, mm -hmm. doesn't matter what form, right. and war is a form of population control. control. Yeah. Maybe I hate by to say God. It. It, you it, know what? It's brought on by God, perhaps. Maybe so. Possibly. Maybe yeah. so. Possibly. There right. have been wars from the the earliest For no times reason. of the Bible. Yeah, though. yeah, yeah. Right. Even, yeah. But earliest you know? times of the Bible in the Old Testament. Yeah, of course. Wars between wars. Philistine. Yeah, right from the population the beginning. in control. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Noah with well, the flood. You think God uh, God made the flood on purpose? Probably no, he, not. he did it for a reason. <laughs> for a wipe reason. out the for human reason. race. Yeah, yeah. Population control. Right. Start again. <laughs> Start again. There you because go. That's we the screwed motto up for the night. <laughs> we screwed up. That's right. Population control. So God's he's gonna punish you. Yeah. And he gave Noah right. yeah, you know, a chance. Oh, look. His family. Yeah, yeah. Protect and your family. Like, hey, take mm -hmm. care of them. Yeah. Take care of the animals. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because we're starting over. We're starting all over. We're st but he also said <laughs> then he would not ever bring such wrath on the human race again. That's what he said. It's Is in that the what Bible. He said? It's yeah. in Genesis. It's in the Old Testament. All right. Yes. So not to say what he about, hasn't. Do you believe in the end of the world? I do. You do. I do. The signs there's the got to be a limit. Yeah. There's the the be a earth limit. is millions of years old. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, yeah. And there's so much 
there's only so much abuse that it can take. Right. It so is you don't a living in organism. Evolution. And this is one show you, that you guys, they can't keep doing. <laughs> I know. Do you guys, you know, believe, is, <laughs> do you guys believe in evolution? Yes. You, the theory of evolution? Well, or? what you know, as, 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 as a Catholic, to do with Scientology, as a Catholic, right? yeah. You, yeah. you're brought up not to believe in evolution. We're not supposed no, to No, evolution believe as far as Adam and Eve, I do not the ape where oh, we yeah. turn no, to no, the no, man. That's what I mean. That's Gary. right. No. <laughs> you know, I don't believe in it. You know what? That's yeah. you, you're drawing <laughs> <laughs> You're splitting hairs here. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, Look at you, professional <laughs> radio guy. Are you looking he's for splitting atoms. science? That's what he's doing. You are. Science. Yeah. Are we bringing in the science or are we bringing in religion? And you know what? I, I've always been brought up. You yeah. never talk about sex or religion. Yeah. At or the politics. Dinner table. Well, fuck it. We or talk politics. about politics. Yeah, politics, yeah. religion. You know what? Those are the two this big is, ones. Yeah. I think religion. Yeah. We have to believe in something. Exactly. That's the only thing that we have going for ourselves yeah, in yeah, life. Yeah. And I believe that religion is a sense of just um, control in a way because they want to keep well, you in line. Are you talking about Scientology? No. That's I'm control. I'm talking about just religion yeah. and peri- like period. You know, er, you could practice religion at home. Right. Absolutely. You know? Yeah. Where a religion dictates and tells you what to do, yeah, that's, yeah. that's a cult. Yes. Absolutely. Right? And yeah. yeah, John Travolta. <laughs> <laughs> no kidding, huh? And the and you Taliban. Know, yeah, the see, Taliban. But, back to but the listen, that's no, my no, show. but listen, you know, the, the uh, Scientology, yeah. in all honesty, okay. how that works, if you follow that, like read about it, yeah. the guy who puts the most money into that religion right. makes it to the top dog, like in the Catholic faith. Oh, well, you're Catholic. I'm Catholic. So we have a pope. Right. But the top faith, you guys probably heard about that, right? The you guy know who's who the top guy? I never heard about that. The, no. You know about that. You know who's the top guy in Scientology? Who's the top guy? Who is it? Tom Cruise. Tom Cruise. <laughs> really? Then he Tom would be because no. he's putting the most millions he's into the, the religion. Well, in there, yeah. If you think about it, it's a pyramid scheme. Right, yeah, right, yeah. Right, 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 right. Absolutely. It, it's a pyramid scheme. He's making money, but yeah. he's also put in a lot. Put of a lot of money. But you know the thing about religion is, and and this is what the whole thing is. Let's say you were born in a certain country. That's your religion. So that's what you're raised on. We were all we were you were raised in the states. You yeah, were but that the the country doesn't have we anything to do with Catholics. religion. Of course it does. No, because of the fact that let's say we we were uh, born in India, we would be under that religion. Well, Hindu is, but there are, no, but there, there, are, are there. there are Christians there. Are so, Christians yeah, there too. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But I'm just saying. Shut it all up. Let me shut his on, mic up. Look, look. Go ahead, talk. See, there's no good. Oh wait, it's his show. Sorry about that. Jackass did it last week. You prick. That's twice. And I was just going to talk about comedy today too. I talk about comedy. Talk comedy. Okay, right. I gotta go. My time is up. <laughs> I only get ten minutes on this show as a co co owner. You yeah, can come back, yeah. silent partner. So, you can come back. I got I got my much. eight minutes worth. Dude, you thank did well, man. You, you, you look good in there too. Yeah, man. he's thank like you. totally relaxed. Yeah. He's like chilling. Yeah, he should be on more often. <laughs> he should. Have, we should have a show come with on him every Tuesday. That no, we should have a show with him. <laughs> conspiracy therapies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll get a major sponsor for him. Let's do it. So he gets a salary to cover his gas coming in, and all he does is every week. Nice. He talks about some stupid ass hey, conspiracy he doesn't theory. offer me that shit yeah. you know I drive from Toronto all the time yeah, Area 51 <laughs> people oh, Area 51 there right. you go baby that's they another made, they made altogether. the planet right they made sure. the moon there <laughs> right sure all, yeah that's where they did all the moon you know what three people were in that conspiracy who Okay. Neil Armstrong, Neil, Neil, say, Buzz yeah. Aldrin, Buzz, yeah. and Mike and Collins. Mike Collins. I don't believe right. it. And there was I one other it. guy at NASA who was actually yeah, the guy cutting the, the feed. Yeah. The ace oh, the just like you in the yeah, control yeah, room. Yeah. No, no, no. There was okay. a guy like you, Gary, at and NASA. No. You know, and and you're telling me and they the were faking out the fucking world. Th- wait, the 78,000 NASA employees yeah. worldwide knew nothing about it. They're all duped in, man. They're all duped. They're all duped, man. Thank you very much. I agree. Thank you, Reality Radio. Thank you, Dale. Thank you, Gary. Uh, we'll right. see you next time. All right, That's see right. you later. All right. There goes Ed. That was awesome. Ah, uh, there goes Ed. <laughs> we should have some music for him. No, <laughs> no, <laughs> I, <know. laughs> I keep talking. I got to say goodbye you, for a moment. Right, no I problem, keep no talking. Problem. You well, guys are uh, bastards. <laughs> Actually, I'm going to be playing. Um... <laughs> that was awesome. <laughs> well, ladies and gentlemen, I know you're not really used to that kind of radio, at least not on my show, but uh, I love that. That was great, man. Are you kidding me? That was like so awesome. Thanks, bro, for joining, man. That was so awesome. Uh, Gary, I think you got my volume down on my computer there, buddy. Do I? Yeah, I do. I go ahead. Down, Sorry. Man. Go ahead. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, there was somebody yeah. that was coming into the studio. Already? Yeah, already. Yeah, oh, why not? Do I play that or you? <laughs> this is a quick one. This is a quick one. Okay. Yeah, I, I got two of them actually tonight, so we're going to start off with this one. Oh, oh, right. so, hold on. <laughs> I yeah, thought but my jokes. jokes were bad. There we go. Actually, that was awesome, him coming yeah, on the yeah. show. He's a great guy, man. <laughs> we got to get him again. Yeah. Next time you want to come on. <laughs> All right, yeah. <laughs> All right, so this is uh, this is the first comedy clip of the week. It's really, really, okay. really quick. Um, I actually, um, you don't probably know this comedian, 
But uh, Could I, I guess. To, uh, you might not get him, man. He's give me, Austra- before he's you Aust- play him. Give me a hint, real All quick. Right, he's Australian. Oh, it's great, big tight. It's really great. <laughs> oh no, that's <laughs> the croc hunter. Okay. Not that extreme. <laughs> okay, sorry. Okay, go ahead. He's Australian. Uh, he drinks a lot. That's I don't probably know the two that best. Is. Okay, his name is Jim Jeffries. I'm uh, sure. You oh yeah. Him. Okay. Go you on. ever heard of him? No. Okay. Well, he uh, in this little comedy routine, he's talking about drinking. You're listening to the Del Morgado Show right here on Reality Radio 101. I I like living in Britain because my um, my obvious uh, alcohol problem um, isn't a problem here. <laughs> it, before I came on stage here, my manager, the last thing he said to me was. Do you need another drink? (laughs) That would never happen in America. When I recorded my special in America, they employed someone to stand by the bar to make sure I didn't get wasted. (laughs) Because Americans, they don't really drink like you people drink, like they think they do. But they're very into, like, drinking games. Which you people don't really have drinking games. Right? Whenever like, I'm out drinking in America, I always meet some like, like college boy who'll come to me and go, Hey, dude, ever play beer pong? <laughs> and I went, like, what's beer pong? Well, you've got to get a ping pong ball. You've got to throw it in the cup. If you don't get it in the cup, then you've got to chug your beer. <laughs> and I'm like, well, let me just get this straight. I'm trying to get drunk. <laughs> and you're putting an activity in front of me that may impede me (laughs) from getting to my beverage. I said, they have a drinking game in England. Do you want to know what it's called? Drinking! (laughs) And this is how it's played. What you do is, you have a drink, then you get another drink, you have a drink, 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 have a drink. You do this as fast as you can. And if you get so drunk that your friend has to drive you home, then you fucking win. Are we back? Yeah, we're back. All right, we're back. Well, the light's not on. The light's yeah, not is. on no, with somebody's home. All right, there yeah, we go. It's not on. All right. <laughs> wow. Welcome back, ladies and that gentlemen. That guy almost sounded like half fake. Okay. Like when he, when he said certain words, he didn't yeah. sound Australian didn't to sound me. Pure Australian. No. I don't know. Uh, Maybe he's faking it. Maybe. <laughs> That's right. what she you said. Could you do an Australian? <laughs> I could do a little bit of Australian, but it sounds a little bit like English. <laughs> no, it sounds like Austin Powers. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> yeah, man. <laughs> sounds like English, baby. Yeah. No, no. <laughs> That's Austin. Yeah. yeah Actually, th- I got a gig this weekend, believe it or not. You do? Yes, sir. Do I get my cut? Uh, no. <laughs> Why? <laughs> this is coming from Carly. Yeah, I got so it. She, I got uh, it for you. I just yeah, how'd you fix your mic muff, man. It's what all over the place. First of all, push your mic in. It's going to fall out. It's not going to fall push, out. There you go. There we go. There you go. All right, we're interested. <laughs> All, right. <laughs> All right. Well, I'm thinking it's time for the song of the week. I wanted to play that little comedy clip. Just song the of the it. week. Yes, sir. Oh. And this week I selected a very, very. Oh, we I, love I it. I want to see if you can guess this. Should song we keep our mics open for this? Because we might be singing <laughs> with it. What do you think? I don't know, man. We had what a pretty think? good time singing it before yeah, the show. Yeah, let's do. Let's keep our mics. I'll just. You want to sing it? We'll just both to piss sing everybody it. off. Yeah. All right. Let's do it, man. But, but not, well, with the with the thing, it'll be like karaoke. Yeah. On on Reality Radio 101. <laughs> All right, well, so do something well, like that? Well, you know th- where this man came from originally. Came I from do. a band. I do. Which band was that? Van Halen. That's right. Do and you know y- the name of the the the, uh, the players? Yeah, I Van do. Van Halen? You do? Eddie Van Halen. All right. Edward Van Halen. All right. <laughs> David Lee Roth. Nice. And Michael Anthony. Very nice. I'm impressed. What do you think? I'm stupid I'm just because I'm pushing 60? <laughs> no, I'm not that. Come on. I'm impressed, Gary. Okay. But the funny thing is, is David Lee Roth was the main singer. Yes. And they also had Sammy Hagar as the main Afterwards. singer. Afterwards. Why is it called Van Halen? Because <laughs> it's the two brothers. But now it's Van Halen because uh-huh. Michael Anthony is no longer in the group. Okay. But you know who is in the group? Who is in the group? I you don't, don't know? know? The no, bass player. Who's the bass player right now? I have no idea. Come on. I don't know. I haven't kept up it's with the It's a Van Halen. Is it? It's a Van Halen. Nice. Wolfgang Van Halen. Nice. Eddie Van Halen's son. Very nice. Yes. <laughs> I didn't even know you that. Didn't that's, know that. That's all information. And right. and uh, David Lee Roth is touring with them again. Nice. So, so he's back together with the band. Yeah, but it's not the same band because Michael Anthony really needs to be into that band. Right, right. So there you go. Did you prefer it with David Lee Roth or with Sammy Hager? I knew Sammy Hager, not personally, but he, yeah. he, he was born and raised in my hometown. Yeah. And uh, I liked him. I liked him better with his solo, you know, with the mm-hmm. Sam when he was Sammy Hager with his own band and everything. Right, he was right, very right. successful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I liked them both. Right, I liked them but both. but David there were Lee Roth. Things it's that I liked about both. Right, of them, right. right. So. And 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 uh, 
you know, also Sammy brought a lot more to the band as well because he could. Okay. He's a very, very good guitar player as oh, well. Oh, okay. I but didn't know but that. you know, Van Halen is David Lee Roth. Yeah, I mean, yeah. You know, well, he's the original. original Jump yeah. and Panama. And all yeah. That. yeah. Well, when uh, uh, David Lee Roth went on his own, this is when he came up with this one, along with California Girls. Mm-hmm. Right. You know that song. Uh, I love <laughs> and I love the videos. And I do too. Hey, Chase. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> it's up right to here you. on Dave TV. <laughs> <laughs> so, right now we're going to kick in David Lee Roth and Just a Gigolo right here on the Del Margato Show on Reality Radio 101. <laughs> You're going to keep the mics live, too. I right? am, buddy. Fucking right. <laughs> this is Welcome to your day. Karaoke. TV. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know here the words, go. though. No? Okay, here we go. I'm just a gigolo. And everywhere I go. Yeah, baby. Baby, all the time I'm playing. Paid for every dance, selling each for rents. Ooh, what they say. There will come a day when youth will pass away. Yeah, Here we baby. Go. What will they say about me? Yeah. When the end comes, I know that I'm just a gigolo. Life goes on without me. Everybody no. sing at home. <laughs> Ooh, I don't know the words. <laughs> yeah. You got a good voice, man. Thank you got man. a good voice. You do too. <laughs> Thank you. Selling each romance. Ooh, what they say. There will come a day. Yeah, baby. When you go pass away. What will they say about me? When the end comes, I know that I'm just a gigolo. Everybody. Life goes on without me. Cause I. Yeah, baby. I can't remember now. I don't know. Nobody. <laughs> All right, let it go, man. Let it go. <laughs> Nobody. I'm so sad and lonely. Sad and lonely, baby. Yeah, lonely. All right, baby. Take a chance with me, because I ain't so bad. This part's all over the place. <laughs> Pissing everybody Bad off at home. <laughs> Sing it on the beat. Sing it on the beat. Boozy, boozy, bop. Diddy bop. I ain't got nobody. Hey. Nobody cares. Are we got listeners? Yeah, we got. Well, they're all hanging out. They're all no, hanging out. No. <laughs> right here. This is Reality Radio Online. Okay. Yes. Oh, yeah. This is where Boy Joyce is right now. <laughs> Going through the He's stage. Got a video, I remember that. <laughs> this is a classic, eh? <laughs> it's, 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 it's coming, it's coming, it's coming. I know. Oh, yeah. You know. <laughs> Here we go. Just yeah. wait for it. <laughs> How's this for fun? <laughs> Here we go, baby. Oh, yeah. Oh. The Rockets. <laughs> here we go. Yeah, baby. Right here on Rock and Roll Radio 107.7. Yeah, Radio 101. 25 after. Uh, 35 after the hour, right here. Temperature is. Temperature right now is uh, 20 below zero. Your morning traffic. All right. <laughs> mama, sweet mama, baby. Me, Cause I ain't so bad. No, 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 no. No, no, no. Oh, what a time. Yeah, Jimmy yeah. Jimmy on a beat. Jimmy, Jimmy on a beat. Get it out. Say it. Say it. Mama. Say it. Say it. Yeah. Hey, baby. So, All right, 1077, your FM station. There we go. <laughs> Nobody. Nobody. We're looking at traffic delays on the 104. That's right. <laughs> You're listening to the Del Morgado Show right here on Reality Radio 101. Yeah, baby. The party station. Uh, call us tomorrow. Nobody. 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 
Nobody. Nobody. Nobody. Yeah, nobody. Here's the best part, real. Yeah. Nobody cares about me. We'll be right back. Welcome back to the Dell Morgato Show right here on 1077 FM. To call Dell right now, dial 905 725 1907. Toll free in North America, 1 866 905 7325. Worldwide, 1 866 656 5477. Email Dell right now, Reality Radio 101 at yahoo.com and now back to your host of the del morgato show del morgato welcome back ladies and gentlemen to the del morgato show hey not even god knows what's gonna happen on hey this we show. just got an email from <laughs> someone that said that was very interesting was that funny yeah or interesting yeah yeah that was funny as hell was it man. i had a blast that did you great. Actually, I got, a, I got a text from Alex, our favorite Alex, yeah. and he said, and I quote, good energy flowing so far. <laughs> like my dick. <laughs> That's right. So he's probably like sitting there, chilling out, mellow and, you know, relaxing. And he's like, that's... That's so mellow, baby. That's so mellow, man. Uh, I'm going to do a joint and listen right. to you. But I, I had the official <laughs> David Lee Roth at the end. Remember, he's on the desk sleeping? They yes. go, Dave, you're yeah, yeah, yeah. meow. Oh, so you have that version of it? I just did it live. Oh, yeah. I, saw, I heard that. <laughs> <laughs> right, come on. Well, we went to commercial. I wasn't even thinking right. about it. <laughs> right, because at the end, he's sleeping. He goes, yeah, now, yeah. if I was to make a video, oh, yeah. I'd and then make you get it that something. Music. Bing, bing, he bing. goes, just yeah. like this. Yeah. And then, then he does it. Kicks right and at in. the yeah, end, yeah. he's sleeping on the desk, yeah. remember? And the guy goes, remember? <laughs> but before they do it, remember yeah. the, oh, all the guys, hey, Dave, get, get, get you. Hey, Dave, forget about it. Yeah, forget yeah, yeah, about yeah. it. Hey, Dave. All, the, all the crazy people. Right, the yeah, crazy. Yeah. Hey, Dave. <laughs> That's forget good. about it, Dave. Forget about it, Dave. Right? And then at the end, he goes, like, he's sleeping on the table. And they go, Dave. I remember that. Like a cat. I totally remember I'm the man. See? You are the man. The legend. The one, the only. Gary Labar. <laughs> Thank you very much. That's right. Yeah. Actually, I wanted to mention, uh, this is actually before we started with the whole conspiracy thing. Yes. <laughs> oh, uh, Who Alex, was that guy? Alex uh, just replied back. <laughs> yes. How you doing, Alex? Hey, how you doing, is Alex? Is that Alex hey, Lyson from no, Rush? No, no, no. Oh. Alex Rogue. He's oh. one of my buddies. He's a, he's a good oh. friend of mine. Actually, wow, I, wanted to, I wanted to ask you a couple of quick questions. Yeah, ones. go ahead. This ask is, me anything. This is an like. interesting thing I found out yeah, this go past ahead. week. Yeah. All right. You know how a lot of movies, you were talking about, uh, you were thinking about uh, investing in a film. Yes, I am. This is correct. Okay. I, you know what? <laughs> I didn't want to I didn't want to bring that up, right, oh, to our listener oops. audience. Oh, But okay. you know I put aside a quarter of a million dollars. Yes, you did. Yes, you I did. I have a quarter of a million dollars yep. that I'm going to invest into a movie. You're thinking about. Right? Yeah, you're thinking about. And uh, so you're telling me what the movie is, but don't don't let people I'm not know. Gonna, no, no, no. I'm not going to mention what the movie idea is. Okay. What I'm going to talk to you about is some of the Hollywood flop busters. <laughs> <laughs> flop busters? Flop busters. These aren't going to be like porn ones. No, 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 no. I don't want to hear that. Absolutely yeah, not. Absolutely not. Okay. These are actually right. legitimate films. <clears throat> uh, one of the biggest flop busters in history okay. was- Don't uh, spill the water on the equipment. No, no, no. I'm, I'm okay. good. I'm good. Uh, was Kevin Costner, Waterworld. I don't know what that is. You never heard that one? No. Uh, what happened was they invested $175 million Whoa. into this movie. Yeah. And the gross in the U.S. was 88 million oh they got screwed they got man. so screwed but wow. that's like actually one of the biggest ones in history yeah but what i found out this weekend i'm only going to mention two of them because okay. i'm not going to waste too much when time would that this. when did that movie come out oh my god that was years ago hold on let me i'll find out exactly what you're and, and then <coughs> you're and you saw this movie 1995 yeah i saw it was a piece and, of shit and what was it about what it's, was the plot uh, line the world uh all the uh ice caps had melted and it was just water the entire world had become water. And what was it called? It was called Water World with Kevin Costner. Oh, that sounds like it Wally's a- World. <laughs> the Griswolds. <laughs> the Griswolds. Hi, we're the Griswolds. <laughs> Right? Dun, 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 oh, dun, come dun, on, man. Dun, dun. Right, right. Dun, 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 dun. Hold on. Here's, here's yeah. where it gets interesting. If you yeah. think that's bad. Yeah, I do. Okay, that's horrible, yeah. obviously. Now, here's some movies that uh, 
get this. This is number 10, believe it or not. Okay. They invested $7 million budget. All right? $7 yeah. million. Dollars, and the movie was called The Marsh. This was done in 2007. The gross, I kid you not, was $336. For wait a minute. No, <laughs> wait, no I'm confused. God. How much was the movie? They invested $7 million into the movie. And who was they? Uh, the studio. I don't know what studio. Major, though, or independent? Major studio. It okay. was uh, Forrest Whitaker was actually one of the main No, actors, man, because he's a great actor, God. man. I know, I know. Really? It's, this is all the details here. And, and they got, uh, what was it? In three days, uh, they had one theater. It played in one theater, and it was $7 million budget. No, okay? Oh, man. And they only got $336. If you think that's bad, that's not the number one. <laughs> but why? Let the me number, go to that one, though. Yeah. You said one theater. They didn't promote it worldwide and put it in no, theaters? they just put it in one why theater. Why would they do that? That's stupid I marketing. I no idea. That's right? the dumbest marketing I've ever yeah, heard okay. in my life. All right. I'm thinking it's maybe because of the fact that they couldn't get distribution in some of the, in okay. maybe some of the other right. locations. But that's only number 10. Okay. The number one least grossing movie of all time is, is called, I can't pronounce this one, so I'm not even going to try it. It's spelled Z-Y-Z-Z-X-Y Road. Okay. okay. That was it. It was done in 2006. Yeah. No word of a lie, $30. What was it? What did they what spend did, on it? Uh, the $215 million. $215? $250 million. Oh, you've got to be produce. People I'm had not to, kidding. And that it, was starting. It was starting. Hold on. It gets. Uh, and she's gorgeous. Catherine Hagel, mm-hmm. uh, Leo Grillo, which I, it doesn't sound familiar. Yeah. And Tom Sizemore. I've seen him in a bunch of movies. Yeah. And $30. Yeah. <laughs> it was horrible, um, man. Hmm. Can you believe that? You invest There'd that be a lot of suicides money. there because, Absolutely. you know. Absolutely, well, especially from the production team and the fucking everybody. Well, you know, I'm investing, as we said. Yeah. And, uh, you sure. Yeah, you we're, we're going to. We're going to. Uh, <laughs> After hearing that. And, well, yeah, my movies are successful. Oh, I see. My movies will be successful. <laughs> I hear you. They will be picked up by a major studio. Nice. I know that. I hear What you. I touch goes to gold. You know that. Yes, I That's do. That's it. I, right? <laughs> you put a little bit of touch on the Del Mar Gato I do. show. I do. I, <laughs> and this show's fucking I know how to shining do it. gold. <laughs> <laughs> I know how to do it. Yeah, and, and I know how to kiss your ass enough that it would make. <laughs> that's right. So, uh, one of my, right. my 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 business partner was here today. And, yeah, uh, yeah, we yeah. discussed our uh, movie, and yeah. you are going to be heavily involved with what? that movie. You oh, are heavily no. involved with that movie. Not if we're only making thirty dollars. We don't know that. <laughs> I think half. So, of the, I think half of that uh, budget is probably going to go towards my salary. What do you think? No. What? I'm putting 250 <laughs> I'm pledging right now 250 grand quarter okay. of a mil. Nice. My business partner is going to do uh he's, he's going to do a hun- do something. He's doing 100 and a half. <laughs> okay. So that's 3 what is that? That's 400,000. Holy shit. Right? 400,000. Eh? And I got a couple other guys and we're going to get the bar we're going to do a million dollars. Wow. We're going to put a million in and you because I love your video no stuff. No pressure, dude. I love your video <laughs> stuff. You are going to be part of this. You want to hear something interesting, though? Yeah. I don't need that much of a budget. I know that a lot of directors would probably like say, That's oh, not I your need, budget I only. That's because it's food for us. <laughs> you know, on location. I'm, I'm, like a million dollars on food or a hundred thousand no, dollars we're, we're on gonna, food. No, we're going to do the million yeah. this summer. Nice. We're going to do it. And locations. Okay. We're looking That's at... That's probably the one thing that you'd probably have to spend money on is location. Don't worry about what we have to no, spend I'm, the money I'm on. i as a producer, right? But here's the deal. Yeah. We want to do some Talk exotic location. Nice. And... Uh, Are you going to be the main lead? No. No. <laughs> I may be. I'm, I'm going to be in it. You got to be in it. I am definitely in you it because I'm a great be. actor. Yes. I'm an excellent actor. Amazing. I'm an amazing driver, com- too. <laughs> very yeah. good driver. Yeah, yeah I'm a very good driver. I, 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 Walmart sucks. Yeah. No, Kmart. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever it is. Yes. So so uh, I'm going to be in this movie. All right. Uh, you better be in this movie. And, I'm not uh, a part of it, man. No, Don't you right are. Now. You know, we've talked. We've had we've had, we've had pre-production yes. meetings, haven't we've we? We've had a lot of conversations we have. about this. And uh, I'm going to be in it because yeah. I am an excellent actor. <laughs> and, uh, Sorry, I always think of Rain Man every time yeah. you say that. And, uh, an excellent and, and, driver, but yeah. I want to shoot this. Yes. We talked about this. We, you, you know, guys we got the sh- cameras already. You don't have we, to spend any money. No, we're not talking about gear. We got all that covered. We got all that shit. What we're talking about yeah. is I need to find a location to shoot this because I want to shoot it somewhere exotic okay. over the late summer, early fall. Nice. I want to shoot on location, take two to three weeks to shoot just those parts on location. Mm-hmm. So we have to come up with what we're going to do. Yeah. Right? So there we go. Why are you Good. looking at your phone? Because I keep getting texts. All right, tell them to stop it. All right. I am on the air. Stop okay. texting me. Okay. <laughs> All right. So now that we uh, that was so worldwide now that news. That was on the uh, on the uh, on the up front there. <laughs> oh my God! I completely forgot. What'd you forget? I want to send out a special thanks to Bob. 
I know you mentioned his name. Santa Bob. Yes, for being yeah. on my show last yeah. week. Holy crap, I completely forgot what yeah. a brain. Oh, boy. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, I mean, I'm trying to think of something uh, something else to talk about. <laughs> well, uh, I guess we don't have to. <laughs> Is we this got, another one? This is the actual. This is the actual comedy clip of the week. So you got this one. Here we go. Oh God! Do it, do it, do it. And I thought my jokes, jokes were bad. <laughs> see, I would have gotten an award for that. You probably would have. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, did you see that poster I put up or the picture I put up? Yeah, that's great, man. <laughs> excellent. Did it finally like make sense? No, I had no I idea had what that, you're talking about. I yeah, had it's that excellent. Line with the Joker in it. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Anyway, ladies okay. and gentlemen, it's time for the actual comedy clip of the week. Okay. It's Jim Jeffries again. And uh, this time he talks about uh, orgasms mm -hmm. or foreplay. Sorry, foreplay. So you're listening to that right here on the Del Morgado Show on Reality Radio 101. Wait a minute. Am I supposed to play that? <laughs> huh? Focus. Wait a minute. You played yes. something on your computer that was before. Track five. Oh. <laughs> You're looking and at me I, like a moron in, in the control room, and, and I'm it's saying... it's all quiet in here, too. I'm like, whoa, Wait what's a minute, on, man? man. You you played the thing I played earlier. The, I played the thing. It was a small all right, so, thing. All right, so this do, is the actual comedy. All right, do it again. Just all say right, you're listening to it. again. Okay. And uh, we'll take uh, some commercials after this. Okay. And then we'll be right back. Right. You're listening to the Del Morgado Show right here on Reality Radio 101. Sometimes when I'm fucking a chick... <laughs> I go to fuck them again in the morning and they'll say something like this. No. <laughs> when we fucked last night, it was a little bit dry and now I'm sore. Now, to any woman who said something similar to this, may I say, your problem. <laughs> My job was to get an erection. Your job was to get your hole wet. Didn't you get your hole wet? We both had things to do. See, if I don't get an erection during sex, I'm called impotent. But a dry hole is the same as a flaccid penis. A dry hole is an impotent hole and you're not a complete woman and you should be ashamed of yourself. <laughs> there are women in the room who are thinking maybe I wouldn't be dry if there was a bit of foreplay. Let's explain foreplay. Foreplay is what we do to each other to get each other ready for sex. If I have an erection, that means I'm ready for sex. <laughs> and I'm all foreplayed out. <laughs> Now, the foreplay that's necessary for a woman goes like this. You gotta start by kissing them. Then you start kissing down the neck. Now, the whole time you're doing this, you're working downwards towards the cunt. <laughs> now, you know you're going to the cunt. She knows you're going to the cunt. Everybody knows <laughs> you're going to the cunt. But for some unbeknown reason, you have to act like you're not going to the cunt <laughs> and that you're enjoying the journey of this creature. <laughs> you keep kissing down, now you're at the cunt. <laughs> but even when you get to the cunt, you have to act like you're not at the cunt. <laughs> you have to act like you've stumbled upon the cunt by accident. <laughs> So you'll be kissing like a dimply bit of thigh here and the cunt's there. And you have to sort of almost, oh, hello. <laughs> I was visiting dimply thigh. I forgot you lived down here. I'm going, now always a pleasure, never a chore. Eh? <laughs> Do you mind if I pop in? <laughs> then, you, then you lick the uh, whole general cunt area. <laughs> then there's a bit at the top of the cunt. If you lick that, they seem to enjoy it. <laughs> this all takes between 10 and 40 minutes. <laughs> and, and she might be wet. <laughs> and that's the foreplay that's necessary for a woman. Now the foreplay that's necessary for a man we just need to see you naked. <laughs> Maybe you need kisses, caresses, compliments and licks. 
when all we need is you. <laughs> Maybe we take our relationship seriously. <laughs>
Jesus Christ. The, the, don't the, swear like that. Come on. What? I'm saying don't Jesus use Christ. his name. <laughs> Let me oh ask you my. this. Let oh, me ask you this. Here we go. I'm trying is to this a, Is this a gig for public? It's a corporate event. Oh, corporate so event. people yeah, can't yeah. come in? Well, it's actually it's a fundraiser as far as I know. Okay, so why don't you so plug it? I don't have all the details. I'm still. Oh, you're very prepared. Yeah. You're very prepared. Well, professional. you know, it's professional. Funny. What do you call me. it? Professional. He's not me. Yeah. It is my agent. <laughs> Who's your agent? Carly McKinley. Don't. Yes. What skirt thing? Skirt thing. She's still oh, doing it. Oh come on. Yeah, man. she she emails me the other day and she's like, "You want to do a gig?" I'm like, "How much?" Sure. No, don't tell us that on the air. Say what the fuck's wrong with you? How long? How long are you gonna be in costume? <laughs> an hour. Just an hour. As as who? Austin Powers. With baby. the car? No. No. <laughs> oh. No. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's just gonna be my sexy self. You oh, know I I'm love saying? it, man! I'm gonna be going in there. Can I come rocking. down there and see you? I'll see if I can get you in there, man. Don't worry, I'll pay for it. If it's a fundraiser, it's I'll a pay fundraiser, for a ticket. Yeah, yeah. I have no idea what the um, okay, uh, the event is all, all right, about. Let me know, will you? I'll get you some. I details. got a very important dinner thing on going Saturday. on Saturday night. I don't know what time it's gonna be. At. So, oh, is it after? She I can't saying, unless I it's the afternoon. I can't make it. Late afternoon. Yeah, because like I have a dinner at Gainesville on Saturday night. Oh yeah, dinner. That's right. <laughs> no, I, I do. I have a very important. <laughs> no, I'm saying dinner because that's yeah. late evening, right? So yeah. Well, I think. Uh, it. Yeah, it'd have to be uh, from seven o'clock on. I'm not available. Oh, okay. Yeah. I don't know when the gig is. All right, let I me gotta know. get all the deets. All right, nobody cares the deets, on the air. Yo. <laughs> What's next? <laughs> What's next? I don't know. We're wrapping up there. Uh, we're coming. We're close to the end, Oh, right? are we? Yeah. Oh. Actually, I could throw a little quick uh, comedy clip here. Let me just see if I still got. Not it another here. one. Why not? Why Com- not? This another is a good one. This is quick. This is a quick. All right. All right. You remember? Oh. Actually, I'll do um, I'll do the guessing game with you on this one because we couldn't do it on the okay, other. Okay, yeah, I like guessing yes, games. Yes, I know you do. Yeah. All right, this guy uh, used to do stand up. Uh, he used to do a lot of religious humor. Okay, and he also used to have a television show. Mm-hmm. And it was, I think, before or after Benny Hill. That's a lot of hints, bro. From the BBC. The BBC, baby. Oh, let's see. Before was, Benny Hill. Yeah, I think it was on before or after him. Okay, John Biner? Night. No, that was bizarre. He's a right. Canadian. Oh, right, I yeah. know, but he was on the BBC as well. Yes. But um, he wasn't. Uh, are you he being was served? No. Nope. Are you being served? He was earlier no. than. Uh, okay. And this and this is a single guy. Single guy. And he would and he used do to do a lot of Catholic humor. He used to do a lot of it. Like that was mainly his shtick. That's not the comedy clip that I have here. So. Uh, give me give me the initials. D A. Don't know. Is he is he uh, <laughs> is he uh, an English dude? He's an English dude. What's the first name? I think he's English. I'm almost 100% he's English. His first name? Yeah. Dave. Not uh oh, Come on. I just gave it. Dave. Okay. <laughs> okay, not it's not Super Dave. Dave Blank at large. I don't know what that. Oh, I you Hold on, I got to get the phone so hold Oh, on. really? Hold on. Yeah. It's 10 o'clock. <laughs> it's going to be a quick conversation, man. <laughs> I was about to play a comedy clip and I get the phone call. I like getting phone calls. But the, the, you know we're we're coming close. It's gonna be a quickie, man. I'm 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 curious to see who this is. It's probably <laughs> it's probably Mr. D calling back. Hey, he's got some more conspiracies. <laughs> All right, well this quick this is a really quick clip. So here we go. Here's Dave Allen and the comedy clip. Oh, we got him back. I was about to play it. No, no. Is it Dave Allen at large? Yes. That's you know who one. just gave me that answer? Who? Santa Bob. No. Oh! Yeah. <laughs> Bob just, just is it Bob yeah, on the line? Yeah, thank you, Bob, for that. <laughs> well, put him through. No, he we I hung up because I told him we're going off the air. Ah, because we are going well, off we still the air. We got like five ten minutes. What are you talking about? It's ten oh two. Yeah, we go until ten ten. Listen, you didn't tell me that, <laughs> Bob. I want to thank you for that yes, answer. Yes, Bob, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Otherwise, I would have called. I would have put him on. I yeah. love Bob. You know that. Yeah, but we usually go until about ten ten anyway, right? right? Listen, as long as we don't you crack play the, the dan- fifteen. So you're gonna play this and then we're ending it, and then we're pretty much done. Yeah. All right, it's let really me really quick. This is you're, two you're playing this, right? Yes. I right, yes. go. It's less than two minutes. All right, I'll leave your mic on. All right. Duck shooters. There we go. Drunks are great characters. Right. Right. Duck shooting. Right. In the hide. In the hide. Very right. early in the morning. Right. Very cold. Nice. No sign of the duck. Or I'll have a little drop of rum to keep warm. And still right, no listen, sign listen. of the duck. Yeah. I have another drop. Right. Still no sign of the duck. I have another sign of the duck. I have another sign of the duck. And to the duck. Now I got you attention, you bastards. One big, fat, lonely, dirty duck goes across the sky. <laughs> All by himself. <laughs> and the drunk picks up his shotgun and goes, Pudum, Pudum. And out goes, into the lake. And his friend's there and he says, that, 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 that 
is what I call great shooting. He said, well, you're bound to hit one out of a whole flock. <laughs> and he said, ducky, ducky, go, go, go and get the ducky, ducky. <laughs> and the dog, instead of jumping into the water and swimming to the duck, runs across the top of the water. <laughs> Picks up the duck and comes back, and the fellow says, is it, uh, do it. Do you notice anything strange about that dog? <laughs> he said, uh, yeah, he doesn't swim. <laughs> I love that joke, man. It's awesome. <laughs> I don't get it, but there you uh, go. Ah, what's wrong with you, Listen. Gary? Oh. I want to thank Santa uh, Bob. Yes. I yeah. want to thank Bob. I love that guy. He's him, a great guy. I know you love right. him, man. Shh, it sounds like you is... guys are going to, like, get together, right? No, no, no. <laughs> He's the writer of the movie. Oh, is he going to be the writer? Yeah, I think so. Most wow. of them. Okay, here we go. This oh, is you want to do, do the ending? Okay. I'm going to send you the script. Then. Well, folks, it's uh, <laughs> another week Yes. in this cold, cold world of ours. <laughs> but we bring warmth to you Wow. from the Del Morgado Show. Actually Forget good. about your problems, <laughs> your trials, your tribulations, the adversity of life. Wow. When you listen to me, Del Morgado... <laughs> You, As Gary you know, <laughs> the suicide rate goes up. Oh, I gotta be like that, Gary. And now, <laughs> my mentor, yes, my man. That's right, Del Morgan. That was, that was naughty. Well, it seems that all good things must come to an end. <laughs> and Gary's losing his fucking mind back there. <laughs> so, <laughs> we'll be back again next week, same time, same channel. Wake up, Gary. Wake up. You got to control the board, bro. <laughs> I'll be downloading the shows on my website, which is www.dfhstudios.com. Or you can check them out on YouTube. Type in DFH Studios, one word, and you'll get them all. If you have any comments, suggestions, or topics for the show, email me at dfhstudios at hotmail.com. Or you can simply email realityradio101 at yahoo.com as well. You can also join my Facebook page for funny pics and constant updates. Facebook.com slash dfhstudios. And I'm also on Twitter at Del Morgado Show. I want to thank. <laughs> Just woke up, Gary. <laughs> the great and powerful Gary Labar. Say goodnight to everybody at home, Gary Labar. Good night, everybody at home, Gary Labar. Awesome. I want to thank Alex for emailing in. I want to thank Bob for calling in. Yes. We didn't get to hear him, but we still, uh, you know, anyway. Uh, <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I want to thank each and every single one of you. Oh, yes, and I also want to thank Mr. D as well for joining us. And we hope that you tune in next week. My name is Del Morgano, and you've been listening to The Del Morgano Show right here on Reality Radio 101.